Hello everyone, welcome back to the Overseer PC. Today we're going to have another look at our RTX 3060 12GB card. This time around we're going to run it in Warzone, both in the Rebirth Island and in the Verdance Island. And we're also going to run this in both the competitive settings and high settings and see if there's actually any difference between the two. But before that, a word from our sponsor. Sick and tired of that Activate Windows waterback? Head down to u2key.com. u2key.com sells legit Windows 10 keys. Enter my promo code OPC24 and this will give you an additional 24% discount, bringing it down to a low price of $12. They also have Microsoft Office 2019 and using the same promo code, you'll get it for only $41. Now that's an amazing deal. They also have other software, and the code in the screen to get these discounts. They accept all major credit cards and other payment options, including Bitcoin. Once again, that's u2key.com, a proud sponsor of Overseer PC. Links are in the description below. Now back to the video. Now before we run our gameplay videos, we're just going to have a brief rundown of our PC specs that we're using for this gameplay. Um, we're using the 5600X and RTX 3060 12GB card. Both are in stock configuration. We do have PBO enabled and XNP enabled in the BIOS. Alongside the NVIDIA resizable bar has also been enabled. So as I've said before, we're just going to run this in both the Rebirth Island and the Verdance Island and see if there's actually any noticeable difference between the two. I know there will be, but let's just go through it frame by frame and gameplay by gameplay. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with competitive settings here. Now, for my competitive settings, it's quite different with others. I do have Filmic AA turned on for Warzone. Um, we need Filmic AA, I need Filmic AA to have that better visibility when I. Um, for long range enemies in Warzone. It's not like um, other games, Battle Royale games such as Fortnite that you actually don't need anti-aliasing because um, you can't really one-shot people. But in Warzone, yes you can if you do like headshots. And it's really hard, hard, much harder to see people on the, on the horizon without anti-aliasing because there will be too much distraction with the pixels. Alright, here we go. So, dropping off, we got like really good FPS with our competitive settings. We did reach, oh, look at that, we reached I'm taking fire. <laughs> right. I think it's a pretty solid performance. Of course, this is indoors with so too much action. Um, 120 to 170 tops, really. How did I not kill that guy? Like, literally, we got like a lot of bullets. Yeah, okay, yeah, kind of down that guy. Oh, finally. Okay, so we've got about 130 FPS. It's not, it's not bad. It's actually good. Um, utilis GPU utilization is about 96%. But, uh, it's quite fine. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of like the gameplay here. Um, I like competitive settings with uh, RTX 3060. <laughs> You can see the frame times are stable. There's some a little bit of stuttering micro, but it's it, when you play the game, you can't really notice that one. It's not like yeah, damn that guy. You can see also as well our GPU CPU, I mean CPU clock is 4 to 650, so it's the max clock turbo boost for our CPU. Ooh. Looks like all my team has been wiped out. It's only me. Victory rest on your shoulders. 
finish the mission. Um, I won't be able to finish the mission. Ten remaining. Keep it up. <laughs> We've got gas moving in. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. I knew I was going to die at that point. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, let's go for um, high settings. High settings on the Rebirth Island. Set the drop point for your team. So our yes, FPS has went down to 120 during the plane. I have a 95. But it's still good. It's still good. We'll see how we how we how we go when we land. It's more or less the same, more or less the same, Enemy really, in those. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it's more or less the same. Um, yeah, got that guy. I like this gameplay, by the way. I like, like, the rebirth. Oh, oh. 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 Come on, kill me. <laughs> Alright, so with Rebirth Island, it's quite different, I think. Um, the FPS is more or less the same with competitive and high. I think there is a few difference, but you can't really tell that much. Um, we'll see how this one plays out when we go to Verdansk, but for Rebirth Island, yeah. I feel that the, the response of the game is quite good. And the RTX 3060 and the 5600X. Enemy UAV detected. Die, bro. Let's see one more one. More. This gun's really shaky. Alright, so, and quite tight areas like this one, even on our highest settings, it's still run about 150 FPS for the 3060, so it's quite not, it's not bad. I was just being cautious in this gameplay here because I didn't really have extra bullets. And there we go, we've got extra bullets. Yay! Yeah, finally able to reload the secondary. Down that guy. Can I get a like on that one, please? <laughs> yeah, down that guy. Yeah, indoors, but 150, and that's really close indoors, and it's quite good. You can see the reflection is quite good as well. So I'm pretty satisfied with um, high settings on the Rebirth Island. On your shoulders. Okay, let's go for the Vedans. This time we'll try competitive settings on Vedans. Yeah, competitive settings. FPS always drops when you know we're loading the character. I think it's something to do with the server as well that's loading. Battle Royale. You've got gas closing in fast. Get to the And the good zone. thing about the RTX 3060 is we also have like 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I mean we won't be able to use all of that, but um, since we've activated the resizable bar. Um, that 12 gigabyte of VRAM is actually come will actually come very helpful to the, our processor. All right. You're clear to engage all targets. So yeah, it's quite about 150, 170 in close areas. So that's quite good. 
Um, frame times are quite stable as well. I I don't like this gun. And I don't like machine guns either. So I tried to find that guy. Couldn't find him. I was... Yeah, just... I was being stupid here. Just running around. Making a lot of noise. And we're down. One thing I noticed with our um, RTX 3060 is actually it runs pretty cool. We've got like 66 degrees Celsius in here, which is actually very good for, um, you know, for that. Um, the RTX 3060 as well only requires 8 pins, so that's quite a good, you know, good guard. It doesn't require a lot of power. Welcome to the gulag. We do have like, a stutter there. Uh, in gulag, we have we reach actually about 200 FPS. But, you can see it indoors is about 150, 170. It's time. Break some. Okay, there are no weapons in this round. Oh. Run, 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 run. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, outdoors is about 150 as well. Outdoors um, in Verdansk. In here, in a bigger landscape, we were about 130, and the frame types are pretty stable. So I'm quite happy with this legacy. I'm quite happy with the RTX 3060. Yeah, you know, if you just signal. want that frame rates to reach about 140, around 130-ish, 150-ish, this is actually a, you know, a decent guy. The only thing not decent about this card is the price, which is yeah. It's like, a, yeah, it's like a GPU crisis anyway, so, there's no actually real MSRP, Okay, let's go with high settings. High settings in Verdansk. Once again, our FPS drops during this loading screen. And that's fine, totally expected. And our frame rates go down a little bit. In here. FPS went down to 120. 120, yeah. Let's see how it, how it goes when we're in the ground. But so far, it's about 120 ish. Uh, dropping from the plane, or it even dropped the one thing. Um, a frame time chart, or uh, there's a bit of uh, um, yeah, elevation here, small elevations, but it's manageable. Yeah, outdoors is about one thin, one thin, 115. So it's quite a big drop from our previous one, which was about 140, 150. Yeah, it was 100. So, yeah, in an open area like this, so obviously it's Enemy recommended UAV to overhead. have like mm, competitive settings, especially if you're playing Warzone and Verdansk. Not so much with Rebirth Island, but for Verdansk, where there's a huge uh, area. Okay. This one, yeah, you'd probably better to stick with competitive settings. Um, and like I said, I always prefer having Filmic AA, especially in this map. Oof. How did I not kill that guy? We're back. Yes, we're back. <laughs> Is that guy now? Oh, he's running. How did that happen? Like, literally, how did that happen? Oh well, never mind. Mm. 
Okay, so yeah, our FPS here is actually about 120. I think it's something to do with the lights. Um, so yeah, 120. You can tell the difference between the previous video. Okay, yeah. Oop, where's that guy? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's about one, 110 FPS, so I wouldn't probably recommend to have everything on high if you're playing on Verdansk. Um, but definitely go with competitive settings. Um, and that's, it doesn't matter so much if you're in the Rebirth Island, but for Verdansk, definitely play with competitive settings. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed watching our video and having this commentary. Um, if you like this video, just press that like button, share this with your friends or with anyone. And thank you so much and I'll see you again on the next video.